This is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 OEX calculator to find the probability for the bell shape diagram in the topic of probability distributions. So example, in the exam, you might see a mean is given and then they tell you mean is 300 and standard deviation is 50. And then normally means they have their own symbol or they will actually use this one to represent the mean in this topic. And then standard deviation, they will use this sign to actually represent the standard deviation. Or even sometimes they will give you a parameter which they will say uh, x is normal distributions with 315 square. They will write like this. So you kind of need to understand the first one, this one will be the mean. And the second one, you realize that sometimes they will write 15 square or just write 225. Because the second one, they have to write for the variance. But if you know the re relationship between variance and standard deviation, you know you basically just squared it. So you just imagine if you square it 15 square, you still get back the 15. All right, so this is uh, how they, will, they want to show you about the mean and standard deviation. All right, so over here, what I want to teach you is, yes, I want to teach you how to use a calculator to find for this all right so basically you want to find the area in this topic right uh, especially they tell you x is bigger than 305 because normally when we want to do right we will do manually so in the manual way we have a formula to change the x into the jack right we know jack basically equals to x minus mean over standard deviation this is a formula how we convert x into the z. So if if I use this formula, this is what I will do. I will this is my x value, right? 305 minus my mean 300 over my standard deviation is 50. And then what I will do is I will just type in a calculator 305 minus 300, you will get 5, isn't it? 5 over 50. And then you will get uh, 1 over 3, or I would say maybe is 0 0.333. All right. All right. So then, if you want to solve this question, you know you kind of need to draw out a bell shape diagram like this. And then 0 0.333 is kind of here, because the middle will be 0 here. And then here will be kind of 0 0.333. And because of the sign bigger, you know that you know that the area you want to find is over here. And this area itself is the probability. And this is what we want to find here. Remember, whenever you see the bell shape diagram, the area of the bell shape diagram will be the probability. So like half of it will be 0 0.5, another half of it will be another 0 0.5 here. Okay, so this is what happened. Okay, so how are we going to find this probability value here. Normally in the exam, you will use the Z value table. They will give you a table like this. And then you kind of need to read the Z value from here in order to get this value, right? However, if you have this kind of calculator, like 570EX, which I'm using the Casio class with here, I can easily get this answer. But what I want to do here is like this. I go into the menu and then I look for distribution, which is seven. Do you see distribution? I can tap equal or I just tap seven. Okay, then I will look for the normal CD. I believe the CD is stand for cumulative density, but this is what you would use in this topic to find the area here. Then I will go for the normal CD, which is number two here. Okay, here they will tell you the lower bound and upper bound. So over here, what you need to do is Depend you want to use the x value or you want to use the z value, definitely I will teach you both here. Okay, let's say we want to use the x value first. Okay, so what we understand if you want to use the x value, right? We kind of understand our, we have something like it's from, let's say this is the x here because this one already changed into the z. Okay, let's say this is x here. I want to from 305 all the way bigger, right? bigger mean going this direction all the way to the infinity right so therefore i understand my lower value here will be 305 so it's 305 all right then what is my upper because it will go you know this bell shape diagram is kind of a go to the infinity but here there's no sign for us to do infinities then you can just type any very big number you can just maybe it's just like e power of 99 but here i just make our life my life easier which i use 10 power of 10 which is quite big already the value is close to infinity all right then what i want to do next is i press equal here you can see this is sign for the 
def standard deviation. I have the standard deviation here. I will just say, okay, maybe it's 50. And on the top here, I just want 10 power of 10. Yeah, I think it should be fine. 10 power of 10 is quite big. All right, then the next one is the mean. So you kind of can see this sign here is the mean, isn't it? What is our mean value here? It's 300. Then I just use the 300. Then I tap equal. Then I kind of will get the area for this probability. So therefore, probability for Z is bigger than 0 0.333. This probability itself should be 0 0.333. 3694. Alright, so therefore, if you ask me, what is the area for this, uh, the yellow shaded area here is just 0 0.3694. So at the same time, it's mean the area for this uh, bell shaped diagram. Alright, okay. Then, what happens if you have the value like less than? So you just imagine, let's say this is, uh, uh, this is this is x here okay so yeah let's say we we want to do 290 may, maybe 290 is here then less than basically is this it's kind of this area isn't it yeah definitely i know when i change to the z it will be the negative value okay here i just want to teach you that you can straight away do from the x without need to change to the z okay this is what happens so i will just go back here so you realize Right now, your lower, because this one is from net 290, because it's less than, isn't it? You go from 290, go to the negative infinity. So what happened for lower value? I just type negative 10 power of 10, maybe. Or you can just use any uh, very big number here. And what is my upper bound? My upper bound will be the number I start with. This is 290. Because this is... Uh, boundary. So you're just wondering because this one doesn't have an equal sign. Can you just use 290 or you kind of need to use 289? Okay, so I just want to clarify here. Even though this sign doesn't have the equal, you still use back the 290. So in this topic, if even you have the equal or no equal sign, you just use 290 because it's a boundary value. Okay, so I just use 290 here. And then I know my Standard deviation is 50, so which is correct. Okay, then, uh, actually I just now, uh, this one already have the mean as well, which is 300. So then I just type equal, uh, which is the, the probability for this one will be 0 0.2525. Or maybe I can say, yeah, 2525. Okay, or I can round off to 0 0.253. Okay, now, what if in the exam, I don't have an x value, I only have z, but uh, then how can you use the calculator if you only have uh, z without x here? Okay, let's change this one uh, into the z first. So if I want to change into the z, I kind of need to use back this formula, isn't it? Which is x value minus the mean 300 over the standard deviation 50. So then I will kind of use the calculator 290 minus 300, so which is negative 10. Then I go to the menu one first, I type negative 10 over 50. Okay, which is negative 2 over 3. So therefore, probability for z will be less than, I kind of need decimal maybe, negative 0 0.007. Okay. Okay, what if in the exam I don't have all I don't have all these informations? I only have R, something like this. Uh, Z will be less than negative zero point six six seven, and I do not know my standard deviation, and I do not know my mean. How can I use the calculator to find? It? Because this one, you know, you definitely you can use the Z value table to find, right? But here, I'm going to teach you how to use a calculator to find. When if you have the z value only without the x value, mean and standard deviation. Okay, this is what you need to do. So you just go into the same thing, uh, menu, and then you go for the seven distribution. You click enter, look for normal CD, which is number two here. Okay, because here you kind of need to understand your bell shape diagram, isn't it? Your bell shape diagram is going to tell you this is zero, negative 0 0.667 is kind of here, negative 0 0.667. Okay, then let's then tell you which is this area, isn't it? You want to find what is the probability at this area. Okay, so what you want to do here is, first thing you have to understand your lower bound is still negative infinity, right? Because from 
0.667 go to negative infinity. So I just tap negative 10 power of 10. Alright, then my upper bound will be this value, negative 0. Uh, 0 0.667 if you want more accurate answer because later I want to show this answer very close to this answer but just now I actually kind of use all the decimals so here will be slightly different maybe I will use ne negative 2 over 3 which I can get a better value if I want negative 2 over 3 okay so this is a crucial part so in order to use exact value here, here you kind of need to make sure your standard deviation will be 1 and your mean must be 0. So if you change your mean to 0 and standard deviation into the 1 here, basically it's mean you start doing from the z value because this is what happened for the standard normal distribution. So the standard deviation must be 1 and means must be 0. Then what I will do right now is I type equal. So you will see my answer is quite close to the x answer I used just now which is 0 0.2525 which is exactly the same here okay so I want to prove my theory is correct here so what I can do is I go back to the normal CD here I doing the proving part for this thing let's say I don't have the x value here I only have z so right now I know my lower bound will be 0 0.333 0 0.333 alright so and then my upper bound will be positive infinity, right? And then I use 10 power of 10 here. And then right now, my standard deviation is 1. And my mean is 0. This is standard score, which is z. Then I type equal. I should get very close answer here, which is 0 0.3694. Here is kind of 0 0.3695. Yeah, just slightly different, but then which is correct. Okay, so here, at least after this video, you should know uh, you can just use either x value or z value to find the probability you want, which is the area of the bell shape diagram. Okay, this is something very important and which is something I find this calculator will be very useful for you. Before I end this video, I just uh, want to look for the one last example here. Okay, so let's say we have something like this. So basically it's mean, uh, we want to find the area uh, between uh, maybe 285 to 310, which is the area between here. So what you can do right now is very similar, but because you have the gap like this, right? So you no need to worry about negative infinity or positive infinity, because basically this one will be your lower bound value, and then this one will be your upper bound value. So what you want to do is very easy. Low, lower bound, just type 285. And then upper bound, you will just do 310. But because here we are using the x value, so remember, when you use the x value, you must insert your standard deviation value, which follow the value just now is 15. And then I will follow the mean value just now, which is 300. All right, then I, I will get the this area accurately, which is 0 0.5889. Okay, this is the area here. Because when you do manually for this kind of question, actually it's quite troublesome because if you do manually for this one normally i would suggest my student you want to find this area first area a and then you want to find another area which is area b and then you will kind of need to uh plus do use one to minus area a and area b in order to get the middle value like this Okay, but because this video, the main purpose is teach you how to use a calculator to solve it. So I will not go too details about uh, the bell shape diagram. Anyways, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a shopping link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step-by-step -step guide here. So in order to use the 
voucher first you need to go in the shopee website and then at the search button over here you just type car show you should be able to see something like search car show shop you click on it and then you should be able to see the car show official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the car show scientific calculator over here just in case you cannot see you can go into here search in shop over here you just type 570 ex and then the shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then click on it and then just click buy now and then over here there's two places for you to insert your voucher code first place is over here you can see the more voucher the second place will be over here the platform voucher okay the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by shopee and then this voucher is provided by casio malaysia and then over here you can insert the voucher code i provide which is the casio map and then you just click on apply i already apply so you can see like firing it off minimum spam of 70 ringgit so after that you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74 if you have any question feel free to post at the comment section below or else i will see you guys in the next video bye bye